You mentioned uh, uh, Bob Ufer. My very first job in radio was uh, interning for Joe Gannon, the appliance doctor. And I was there when they went from the 22nd floor to the 8th floor. And so I remember going in on a Saturday and everybody had pillaged the, the whole floor. I mean, there wasn't much left. Mm -hmm. One of the two things that I got was was a cart of a clip of J.P. McCarthy doing the, the, the parade, the, the Thanksgiving Day parade. But my pros, my most prized possession, even to this day, was a two-set disc of Bob, the best of Bob Ufer. Talk to me about why Bob Ufer made such an impact on you, because I know he's such an, a huge inf influence on you. Well, I, I'll tell you what, it's really interesting you would, you know, I guess why I brought him up, but uh, Bob Ufer, um, you know, and plus uh, the appliance doctor, Joe Gannon, I work with him, good friend of mine, I, I have nothing, I love Joe uh, as well, good hockey guy as uh, uh, too, uh, but uh, I think what I liked about Bob Ufer was that he was an unabashed homer. We know that. But I think, in, you you know, sports was still kind of fun. Even Dr. Strange Hayes for Woody Hayes, you know, he, he used a lot of cultural references. He himself was a world-class athlete at the University of Michigan. I think he had a track record for like 1,400 meters or, or something when he was a student at U of M. Uh, very successful, I think, in real estate in Ann Arbor. But... I think he kind of brought uh, fun to it. I mean, you know, he I mean, he was serious, you know, those dastardly Buckeyes, you know, tear down the banner, you know, a real famous thing when they, uh, the M Go Blue Banner, they'll pay a price for that. But I think he waxed poetic in a way that was non-threatening. You know, I, I think today when you look at rivalries, like I hate the Michigan-Michigan State rivalry these days. It's it's way too over the top on both sides. I mean, I, I just don't pay attention to that stuff anymore. And I really don't pay attention to sports fans in general anymore because it's ugly. And yeah. Bob Eufer was anything but ugly. He made it fun. And, you know, hey, I'm a Michigan homer too, so it was fun that way as well. But I really think even... If you were a fan of the opposing team and you heard his broadcast, I think you were chuckling right along with him. I don't know if that's the case today with the way sports has, uh, um, you know, I'm going to sound like I'm a big Devo fan, uh, de the, the de-evolution of sports fans as far as uh, not the evolution of sports fans. 